Good morning, and um, it's the morning after the night before. I've just been over to the pub next door for breakfast, as you uh, as you do in a Premier Inn, and very disappointingly, their coffee machine had broken. All they could offer you was the same little sachets of dreadful Nescafe instant coffee that you get in the hotel room. However, fortunately, I came prepared. Nice coffee, here we come. I think it's fair to say that this pair of seemingly brand new Italian registered Lamborghinis was the last thing I expected to see in the car park of a Aberdeer Premier Inn hotel. The Storato certainly looks impressive. Oh my god. Right, back in Dicker Dum Dum, and I've decided that I am going to go home or back to work a long way round and I'm going to go south. Just gone in to pay and um, I had to wait a little moment because the tills were automatically updating because all of the fuel just increased in price by two pence. So if I'd have been five minutes later coming here, it would have cost me more or I'd have got less petrol for the same money. But I've just looked at the big sign and that hasn't updated yet. You know, the big outside sign with the, fuel, with the prices of fuel on it. So if they're advertising it and then at the pumps it's more expensive, that must be against some rule. And the lady was just going out there, just going out there to see if uh, the sign is updated. They say it's supposed to update automatically, but they have to go and check because a lot of the time it doesn't. That's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> That's a nice surprise. It's nice, isn't it? So yeah, I can't face the heads of the valleys. So we're gonna go home the long way round. But it's also a route that has memory associations. So it fits in with the theme of the road trip.
we'll be turning right. Straight on is the Banwen Road. And we'll turn left. Oh, it is 20. I missed that yesterday. We'll go through the village. And then we'll head down to Neath and we'll pick up the M4. It seems unremarkable. I thought I'd have loads and loads to talk about and it's just unremarkable. I'm just home and it feels good. Now is this still, yeah, it's still the little Chinese takeaway. Staff wanted. Let's have a takeaway from there on a Tuesday night. Cozy corner still there and it's open. The cozy corner fish pub. The co-op, that's been there a long time, although it's been um, rebuilt and updated. the easiest thing to manoeuvre around the small streets of a Welsh village. Okay, here we go. Hot flames, that's new. What's that? Kebab and burger shop. There's Bethania Chapel on the left. That wasn't our chapel. We did go, but it wasn't ours. Ours was Bethel. Centre and coal depot, that is where I got my coal for the Rayburn. Now there is a new road, but we'll pretend that doesn't exist. And we will go down the old road.
kid, if I was um, if I was with my grandparents and we were going to Nice or even on to Swansea, this was the way. And then they built a, a new bypass dual carriageway, which we might as well pick up on now. I love about 
in South Wales, the the delicious synchronicity of poor but happy villages and lush mountain scenes kind of all mixed in together. The steelworks are a pretty remarkable sight and even more so at night. So in there to Pitskol, another childhood place. Oh, we should go to Barry Island, shouldn't we? Have I got time? Absolutely beautiful little uh, 1973 Triumph Spitfire in, oh God, is it, was it Inca Yellow? Can't remember. Looks in absolutely concourse condition. Look at that, lovely. Mark 4. 1973. Only two years younger than me, that car. Pee done, burger done, got a bottle of water. Next stop, Seven Bridge. This time, I'm guessing it is an accident. I presume it's been coned down to two lanes or maybe even one lane. We seem to be moving, just.
outside the UK might be interested to know that locals pronounce Bristol as Brizzle. And also, Bristols are cockney rhyming slang for female breasts. Bristol cities, titties. Bristol City is the name of the football club, by the way. Right, let's try and make sure we go the right way up the M5, shall we? Haven't got time to go to Devon today. Cluster Services is just uh, just under a mile away, and I'm going to stop there. Now, many of you will know that it's like a farm shop on a motorway service station, but it's in Gloucestershire, and also in Gloucestershire is Tewkesbury. And as you know, I haven't had any Tewkesbury mustard for ages because Sainsbury stopped stocking it. You can't get it in Tesco either. You can't even get it in Waitrose. So I'm wondering whether in this farm shoppy services thing, maybe I will be able to lay my hands on some beautiful Tewkesbury mustard. So fingers crossed, darlings. Here we go, farm shop and kitchen. That's what we want. wonderful services. If you're not aware of it, do pop in. It's very eco look, it's kind of um, built into the, into the land. I think it's wonderful. And I think it's even more wonderful if, um, oh, that's a nice bottom. I think it's even more wonderful if I can get my mitts on some Tewkesbury mustard. I've missed it. check it is right it's half past three how far away am I let's just check okay I'm a um, hundred and four miles away About two and a quarter hours and it's what time did I say it was Shit. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Right, I think I'm okay, but I really haven't got any time to waste, so let's nip in and see if we can get any mustard. Bingo. I'm going to call that a great success. I've got this uh, Trackleman Strong Horseradish Cream, which I've been wanting to try. And I've got proper Tewkesbury mustard made by hand in the Cotswolds. As mentioned by Big Bill Shakespeare, his wit is as thick as a Tewkesbury mustard. So £6.75 for the two. I'm, I'm a happy chap. Okay, so as I said, I don't have any time to waste especially as I'm going to be hitting the M42, uh, approaching rush hour. That's probably going to be at a standstill. So we need to crack on. We need to sacrifice a little bit of economy for speed.
time check, 20 to 4 and over 100 miles to go. I need to be there for 6, so weather's gorgeous, so eh? that's good. So we've got sprint up the M5, then, then onto the M42. And the final stretch up the M1. Here we go. Okay, bloody hell, 
that was some journey. Final sit rep, fuel. <laughs> there must literally only be fumes in there. Time, 17.51. And that is it, darlings, that is it. I'm off to get a coffee. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one. Much love from me, but you, and indeed, Bosh.